हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू रियल वर्ल्ड सिनारियो बेस्ड नेटवर्किंग सीरीज गेस टुडे आई हैव अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग सिनारियो फॉर यू एंड इन माय सिनारियो देयर आर थ्री राउटर्स आर वन आर टू एंड आर थ्री ऑल द राउटर्स आर कनेक्टेड लाइक दिस देन आई हैव ऑन लैंड डिवाइस कनेक्टेड ऑन राउटर नंबर वन विच इज पी सी यूजिंग आई पी LAN device on R1 means LAN submit over here is 192.168.1.0 slash 24. Similarly, one LAN device is connected on router number three, which is PC2, and using IP 192.168.2.1 means LAN submit over here is 192.168.2.0 slash 24. to exchange routes between the router i am running eigr ps number 10 right so router 1 has eigr ps neighbor ship with r2 r2 has neighbor ship with r3 means r2 has two neighbor r1 and r3 done and everything is working fine pc1 and pc2 are able to communicate with each other or you can say both the lans users are able to communicate with each other and here is a question guys before talking about the question i must tell you this is commonly asked scenario based network engineer interview question interviewers are asking these types of questions in interview to test your knowledge right these are commonly asked scenario based network engineer interview question and question is very simple see if i will configure a static route on r2 for this lan subnet 192.168.1.0/24 then can pc1 and pc2 communicate with each other if i will add a static route for this network 192.168.1.0/24 on router number 2 then can pc1 and pc2 communicate with each other right now all have route through eigrp like router 1 router 1 will learn the destination network through eigrp d 192.168.2.0/24 and reachable via r2 means gateway will be r2 r3 will also learn destination network 192.168.1.0/24 and reachable via r2 correct router number 2 will have two route through eigrp 192.168.1.0/24 and 192.168.2.0/24 both are this one is reachable via r1 and this one is reachable via r3 okay so this is routing table of router 2 this is routing table eigrp routing table of router 3 this is eigrp routing table of router 1 if i will configure a static route on router number 2 for this subnet then maybe router 2 will prefer a static route over eigrp as a static route has lower ad value but will ping work will pc1 and 2 able to communicate with each other and if your answer is yes proful ping will work router 2 will prefer a static route but lan users can communicate there will be no no any issue while make forwarding traffic from lan 1 to lan 2 then sir and madam boys and girl you are wrong because right answer of this question is no if you will configure a static route on router number 2 either for this subnet or for this subnet then lan users can not communicate with each other if you will configure static route on router number 2 why first let me verify the issue like ping will work or not let's check then again i will come on this scenario let me take you to my laptop screen and see here i have same topology see i have same topology here R1, R2, and R3. Subnet, LAN subnet one, LAN subnet two, and EIGR PS number ten is running. I can show you the routing table of R2 or R1. So, IP route 
EIGRP. You can see router one is learning 192.162.2.0 through EIGRP routing protocol. Fine. And router number three, router three, so IP route EIGRP. Right. Router three is also learning 192.162.1.0 slash 24 via router number two. And let me take you to R2 and let me show you the routing table of R2 as well. So IP route EIGRP. You can see router two is learning both network, both LAN subnet 1.0 via 12.1 means R1 and 192.2.0 via R3. And if I will forward traffic from LAN to LAN means ping 192.168.2.1 and source 192.168.1.1. If PC2 is pinging to PC, PC1 is pinging to PC2, then you can see ping is working. Everything is working fine. Now let me configure a static route on router number two, and then let me show you the impact. IP route one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot zero two five five dot two five five two five five dot zero exit interface F zero slash zero and next of IP address twelve dot one dot one. And now again, I am going to forward traffic from PC one to PC. And you can see this time ping is not working. Now we are getting packet loss. Now question is why ping is not working? First, first question was will ping work or not? And now next question is why ping is not working? Now it's troubleshooting. Right now you need to troubleshoot it. So guys, first pause the video. Look at the scenario very carefully. Let me show you the actual scenario here it is look at the scenario where very carefully and then share your answer in the comment section that ping will work or not according to you based on your existing knowledge right we have verified that ping is not working but based on your knowledge what you think pc1 and pc2 should communicate or not communicate will communicate or will not communicate and now when we have added the static route then ping is not working answer is why let me know the answer of both question in the comment section and if you want to take your networking skill to the next level you should always share your answer you should always participate in the q a done now understand what is happening guys as soon as you will configure a static routing on r2 actually here we have concept of eigrp zero successor if you know eigrp zero successor concept you can understand this right Th then then i even i don't need to explain to you you know this very well like what is happening behind the scene zero successor means and it it will be not only for a static route if router 2 is going to learn this network through any routing protocol whose ad value is lower than eigrp then router 2 will prefer that network node eigrp example here i am going to configure a static route ip route let's say i have added one static route 192.168.1.0/24 slash 24 now what will happen and uh, next of ip address is 12.1.1.1 AD value of a static route 1, AD value of EIGRP is 90. Right? So, router 2 will prefer which path? Which route? The static route. Right? Now, in the routing table, it will remove this one and it will add this one. But, guys, there will be some changes in topology table of EIGRP as well. In the topology table, successor for this network will become 0 right now you can verify the topology table of r2 you will see successor zero successor zero successor and whenever a eigrp router has zero successor in the topology table it doesn't use that network means doesn't install that in routing table as well as it doesn't advertise it with neighbor right so as soon as you will configure the static route on router number two zero successor for this subnet in eigrp topology table you will see successor is zero on successor is zero router two will not advertise that to r3 so 
earth the will not have route to reach in land one right why i am not able to communicate because r3 don't have route in the routing table why r3 don't have route in the routing table because r2 is not advertising that land submit why router 2 is not advertising that land submit because r2 is learning same network with lower ad value than eigrp with lower ad value than eigrp that's why ping is not working right let me show you here again let me take you to the topology and see what is happening ping is not working we have verified that you can see ping is not working now let's verify the routing table of all the routers go to router number 2 first and so ip route eigrp now you can see in eigrp routing table on r2 we have only one route right for 192.1.2.0 this network right router 2 don't have this network in eigrp routing table if i will show you the entire routing table so ip route you can see for lan 1 it is preferring a static route this one right ad value 1 and for this network eigrp now let me open eigrp topology table so ip eigrp topology and here is the most interesting thing topology table you can see this is the entry 192.1.0 and successor 0 right zero successor so as router 2 has zero successor for this network router 2 will not use this network and even not advertise it to their neighbor that's why router 3 will not have route go to r3 and see so ip route eigrp you can see router 3 is not learning that subnet right so answer was no if you will configure a static route on router 2 for lan 1 then pc1 and pc2 can not communicate with each other remember this and test it in your simulation software guys whenever i am sharing a scenario you should also test it in your simulation software it can boost your technical skill and it will help you to crack interview because in interview nowadays inter interviewers are asking only scenario based question hardly they will ask you few questions few direct questions but most of the questions will be scenario based questions and to prepare your best answer for scenario based question you should always practice right you should always test okay now how to make communication again i can remove the static route and ping will start working or i can redistribute can i redistribute guys will redistribute work if i will redistribute a static into a grp on router number 2 c let me show you router eigrp 10 and if i will redistribute a static route into eigrp router 2 will advertise 192.168.1.0 to r1 or not tell me this as well redistribute a static matrix and go to r3 and now you can see r3 is receiving it as a external prefix now let me check connectivity now you can see ping is working go to r1 and so ip eigrp topology okay now things are working but uh, still there is something going wrong behind the scene if you know that let me know in the comment section otherwise that will be my another interesting scenario for another video that's all for this video guys if you have learned something from this video please like the video 
if you are new on the channel please subscribe this channel and if you are looking for any live classes paid course visit pmnetworking.in thank you so much for watching we'll meet soon in next video till then stay safe